Okay, uh, this video is a painting that I did using only a large brush and a paper towel. And um, it's on a dry canvas, as you can see. Normally, I use a wet on wet technique, but I saw this uh, particular video uh, on YouTube a couple of nights ago and and this guy um, was doing this with just the big brush and the paper towel. He would put on a dark sky, uh, use the paper towel to lighten it up here and there, and the same with the landscape itself. Lighting, lighting things up with a paper towel and not using a ton of color, but you'll see I'll use some blues here and there, and I'll use uh, some um, some yellows in the sky as we get started, and just to bring out some color. But I like the technique a lot, um, and the idea is to not really use much detail and allow the the brain to um, to make things up in your own mind as far as what you see. And so I was pretty intrigued by the idea. And so here I am just creating a, a dark sky and I'll lighten it up here and there. Um, and now I'm just starting to rough in uh, a landscape or horizon line. I'm not interested in any details um, and I'm actually putting things on fairly randomly. Um, I am going to use my knife um, to add a little color to the sky and I will also um, put in some mountains using the knife. But you'll notice that I don't use color on the mountains or on the landscape. You just saw my wife go by and you can also tell that I'm speeding this video up a little bit just to keep things moving along. But um, the idea here is to, again, not use any detail, but to just sort of imply the detail using shadows and lights and darks. And so here I've roughed in a bit of a landscape and I'll just bring that sky down to the horizon line a little bit. And now I'll add in some color just to give the sky some variety and I'm like some oranges and some yellows and I'll use a little blue and a little white as well as we get started here. And while I'm thinking about it, I'll just share who it was that I watched that gave me this idea. I don't know how known he is. Um, but his name, as I'm sitting here looking it up on my phone, see if I can find it. <clears throat> um, let's see here. Let me see if I can locate who he is. Yeah, his name is Stuart Davies. Stuart Davies, and, and he's from, um, oh, I think he's from France. And uh, I just want to give a credit to Stuart Davies for, for giving me these, uh, this idea. I really enjoyed what he had done. And... Um, I'm going to try.
try to find information on him just so that um, just so that I can give you a little bit more info on him but I'm not seeing a whole lot of info but I think he's out of um, France and he actually in, invites people over to France and he gives them lessons for about 500 francs which I think is somewhere in the $650 American dollar area but as you can see I took my paper towel lightened up the sky here and there and now I'm adding some color just to give the sky some some color and, and I'll add in a little bit more color as we go here but again I'm just using a large brush and uh, I'm also using that that brush that I'm using right now is a softer brush that I use just to soften the colors to blend them a little bit not a lot but just to soften them and I'll add in a little bit more yellow tiny bit of red in it <clears throat> I haven't put a video up on my YouTube in quite some time. And like I said before, I usually do a wet on wet technique. But this one, um, I really kind of liked, so I thought I'd give it a try. So I'll blend out those colors up top. Then I'll start on the, on the landscape. <clears throat> which is where my knife comes in to shape out some mountains. And so using just a dark color, mostly green and brown, down on the lower part of the painting, I'll shape in some mountains. And... Um, one thing I would say is to get the paint on to the canvas a little bit faster. I, I mixed in some uh, liquid clear, which is a, it's a clear medium, oil-based. And this is oil paints, by the way. And I'm not using um, all the colors I typically use, but um, mostly just yellow, green, brown some blue, some white, not using any black. I think there's some crimson in there too. And so I'm just shaping out the mountains now. And now I'm using a paper towel. I'm gonna, just regular old paper towel out of the kitchen. And I'm gonna start scratching in some highlights for the mountains. And um, which automatically provides the shadow on the opposite sides. But pretty soon, just these dark colors against the light colors begin to look like a mountain range. And it's really cool effect. And especially down on the bottom, I'm not using any additional colors other than just lights and darks. But once I have that that basic mountain, again I scrub, put in more dark, I scrub some more with a paper towel and put in more dark. And so I'm just smoothing out the the rough lines here and there and now I'm going to put in some foreground or background trees again using just more dark paint a little bit of green a little bit of brown and adding in some liquid clear to help it come off the brush a little easier and so 
I'll put this dark color on just to begin to imply some trees in the background. And again, it's the idea here is no detail. And the detail is sort of made up in our brains. We look at it and we begin to see details we make up in our mind. And so I'm just roughing out some, some background trees. Then I'll come in with my, my paper towel again. I went through three or four paper towels. And, uh, and I'm going to just sort of rough in some land. Little contours and little trails and, and peaks and valleys. And, and it begins to... really start, start taking shape. And again, it's just d lights and darks, lights and darks. But I'm... It just begins to look like hillsides and land that's coming in through trees. and I really like the technique. Never really seen it before. And so I'll come in with another layer now. We always just start from far away and we come closer and closer. And I'm just using the big brush just sort of adding in shapes of trees and bushes and mostly I have done um, paintings that that are uh, more colorful and um, I don't know, I, I just like the variety and been interested in trying out some new things. And so here I am now coming in with a little more foreground and I'll scratch in, scrub in some more land with some darks and some lights and, and in some places I really get in and get that paper towel wrapped up pretty tight and I rub in little trails and little areas of land here and there it's fun But again, as it comes together, just these, these sort of, I don't know, random light areas, they begin to all add up to a interesting looking mountain valley sort of scene. And um, I really like the effect. the sky sort of a interest, interesting uh, collection of colors and this is the second one of these type I did I did one just before this just as a practice and I didn't use any any mountains it was mostly trees and I thought well that worked okay so I'll try Try the next one with a little more mountainy looking range. And uh, as 
So I'll come in here and do another layer of trees. And I'll be pretty close to being done here. But I hope you like this particular method. It certainly is different. And it was fun, and it didn't take long. I'd say I sped this video up mm, probably two times, so um, it took me about a half an hour to paint. And this is a, a 16 by 20 canvas. So at this point, I'm just going to finish this up. And if you like this particular method, um, click on the like button. I really enjoy your comments, and um, I hope you um, got something new out of this. It's definitely a different idea, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign this now. But again, I, I sure appreciate your views, and click the like button, and let's keep this going, okay? Thanks for watching my video, and we'll catch you later.